In this video, we're going to explain fatty acid synthesis, specifically the mechanism behind the ACL carrier protein, specific, uh, or in other words, ACP. Now, ACP itself are prosthetic groups on fatty acid synthase, and these, they basically serve hands for the enzyme. They take uh, carbon atoms, specifically in two, and they add them uh, at the end of the chain repeatedly. And now there's a cycle involved uh, in chain elongation, and we're going to go over how that mechanism works. The easiest way to think about it is through this mnemonic. The ACR doctor. The A stands for attach, where you're going to attach an acetyl CoA to malonyl CoA. C represents condense, uh, and that is when you're actually attaching the uh, the acyl or the acetyl CoA, sorry, to malonyl CoA and then you reduce it, dehydrate it, and reduce the species again. And then you repeat that process to uh, in, it further along the chain. Uh, so again, this is attach, condense, reduce, dehydrate, reduce. And that's generally, in a nutshell, how the cycle works. And we're going to go into it in a little more detail on how this works. So specifically, for attach, Again, in, on the enzyme, you'll have two AC, AC, ACP proteins on the enzyme. And we're going to start off with one of them bonded to malonyl-CoA. And the malonyl-CoA, malonyl the actual prosthetic group CoA, actually is displaced by ACP when it bonds. So in attach, uh, attach refers to acetyl-CoA uh, binding to ACP. So ultimately, you're going to end up with uh, an enzyme that has both uh, uh, an acetyl-CoA, or an acyl group attached, and uh, malonyl-CoA. And that is the first step, attachment. I'm going to try and make more room. Okay. And the next step is condense. So now you have uh, acetyl CoA attached, and your and the enzyme is now ready to. Um, both com combine malonyl CoA with acetyl CoA. And so this works through uh, displacement, knocking out the, uh, the CoA group and the and a CO2. And that CO2 comes from this part. So as you can see, when we're going to be at attaching it or, or condensing both of these molecules, it's never in the front. It's always elongated this way. And that's something that's good to remember and it'll help keep everything straight. And so now you should have an empty ACP along with a malonyl attached to it and an acetyl group. And so this is what it looks like. Basically, going from the beginning again, we have malonyl CoA already attached, and then an acetyl CoA group comes in on the other ACP protein. And then in condense phase, uh, the acetyl CoA attaches to malonyl CoA. Now we have a free ACP. So this is 
basically condense. Now, this doesn't exactly look like a fatty acid yet. So what the cell or the enzyme needs to do is reduce. And the thing it's going to reduce is this right here, this carbonyl group. And it, do, and it reduces it using NADPH. And you may remember from organic chemistry that when you reduce a carbonyl group, uh, it's going to convert it or reduce it to a hydroxyl group or an alcohol. So now it's starting to look sort of a fatty acid. The next step, and you may remember this from organic chemistry, is to try and get rid of the alcohol group. And, and the cell actually re gets rid of that alcohol group through dehydration. So now, again, showing what we had before in the reduction phase, first reduction phase, we're going to now dehydrate it. And in the dehydration process, we're going to form a double bond uh, and knock out a water. So notice we have a double bond right here in the placement of these two carbons. And so now, effectively, uh, we've got rid of the alcohol, and now we just need to further reduce it one more time in order to start making it look like a fatty acid. So redrawing again what we have. And this is reduction two. You use another NADPH to get rid of that double bond. And then voila, you added two new carbon atoms uh, to the chain. And basically this process repeats itself again. It goes through ACR doctor again to add another two carbon atoms. And remember, in chain elongation, the reason it adds two carbon atoms each time is because it's using acyl-CoA as uh, the substrate to add uh, more car uh, two carbon subunits. And so that, that's why it's always um, in an interval of two carbons. But you always start with malonyl-CoA uh, when you're making a fresh new fatty acid. And you're always using NADPH as your reduction uh, agent. You don't ever use NADH. So, again, going over the entire process one more time, quicker, Try and use your hands. It'll be easier to think about how the process works if you can look at it from a spatial perspective. So in the beginning, malonyl-CoA is on one of the ACP proteins, or the acyl carrier proteins. And remember, the acyl carrier proteins are kind of like hands or prosthetic groups. They help bind and mediate the reactions. Uh, and then attach, acyl-CoA comes and attaches to the other free acyl carrier protein on the enzyme. Now in condense, uh, acyl carrier protein attaches to the other end uh, of the malonyl-CoA. So now we have a free acyl carrier protein. And then the next step is reduction. Because we had a free carbonyl group 
uh, once we condensed it. We want to try and get rid of that carbonyl group by reducing it. When we reduce it with NADPH, it creates an alcohol group. Now, alcohol group is not quite close to what we want, right? So we need to dehydrate it afterwards. And so when we get rid of the alcohol, we dehydrate it, and it, a devil, uh, we result in a double bond. Now in the double bond, we need to reduce it again with NADPH to get a clean two-carbon subunit chain. And so this process repeats again. Another, another acyl carrier, pro, uh, another acetyl-CoA can attach to the free hand or free ACP, and the process can repeat itself again. And so you keep on adding and adding until you have a 16 or 18 carbon uh, fatty acid chain, depending on whatever is being synthesized at the time. And so, in a nutshell, that's how the acyl carrier protein works in a mechanistic fashion. It's really important to think about it in terms of two subunits, adding it to the end of malonyl-CoA. And so, an easy way, again, to remember it is just ACR doctor. Attach, condense, reduce, dehydrate, reduce. Thanks, guys. Hopefully that helped you out. And... Uh, again, focus on the aspects of elongation, how it works. Don't worry too much about the mechanism itself, like which carbonyl group gets uh, reduced. Just know the general process and the intuition behind it, and that'll get you pretty far.